Welcome to our in-depth exploration of British numismatics, where we'll uncover the fascinating story behind the 1971 UK 2 New Pence coin. This coin holds a significant place in the history of British currency, representing the shift to decimalization. Join me as we delve into its design, historical context, and lasting impact on British coinage. The 1971 UK 2 New Pence coin is a product of a significant change in British currency, as the country transitioned from the old system of pounds, shillings, and pence to a decimal system. Let's take a closer look at the design and composition of this historic coin. The obverse side of the coin features a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, facing right. This portrait was designed by Arnold Mackin, whose depiction of the Queen was widely used on British coinage during this period. Surrounding the portrait are the words Elizabeth II D.G. Reg F.D. 1971, which stands for Elizabeth II D.E.I. Gracia Regina Fide Defensatrix, translating to Elizabeth II, by the grace of God, Queen, Defender of the Faith. The reverse side of the two new pence coins showcases the badge of the Prince of Wales, consisting of a plume of three ostrich feathers within a coronet. Below the badge is a ribbon bearing the motto Ich Dien, meaning I serve. The words new pence are inscribed around the top of the coin, with the denomination too prominently displayed at the bottom. The reverse design was created by Christopher Ironside, a renowned British artist and coin designer. The 1971 two new pence coin is made from bronze, consisting of 97% copper, 2.5% zinc, and 0.5% tin. The coin has a diameter of 25.91 mm and a weight of 7.13 grams, making it slightly larger and heavier than some of its successors. The 1971 two new pence coin was minted in the year of a monumental change in British currency history known as decimalization. On February 15, 1971, Britain officially switched to a decimal system, simplifying the country's monetary system and aligning it more closely with international standards. Prior to decimalization, British currency was based on the old system of pounds, shillings, and pence, where one pound was equal to 20 shillings, and one shilling was equal to 12 pence. The new decimal system introduced a more straightforward structure, where one pound was equal to 100 new pence. This change aimed to simplify calculations, improve efficiency, and modernize the British economy. The two new pence coin was part of the initial series of decimal coins introduced in 1971. It played a crucial role in helping the public transition to the new system. The introduction of new coins and the withdrawal of old currency required a comprehensive public education campaign, with the two new pence coins serving as a tangible symbol of this change. The legacy of the 1971 two new pence coin extends beyond its immediate use as currency. As a key piece of the decimalization effort, it holds a special place in the history of British coinage and is of particular interest to collectors and numismatists. While the 1971 two new pence coin is relatively common due to its high mintage numbers, certain factors can enhance its collectible value. Coins in uncirculated or mint condition are particularly sought after by collectors. Additionally, coins with errors or unique variations, such as mistrikes or double dies, can command higher prices in the numismatic market. For many, the 1971 two new pence coin represents a tangible link to a pivotal moment in British monetary history. Collectors value it not only for its design and composition but also for its role in marking the transition to a new era of currency. As such, it remains a popular item for those interested in the evolution of British coinage. Over the years, the two new pence coin has also been a subject of interest for commemorative purposes. While the coin itself is not typically reissued, its design elements and historical significance have been celebrated in various numismatic collections and exhibitions. The Royal Mint, located in Lantry Sun, 
South Wales, is responsible for producing coins for the United Kingdom and other countries. The minting process involves several stages, from designing and engraving to striking and quality control. Each coin produced by the Royal Mint undergoes rigorous checks to ensure it meets the highest standards of craftsmanship and precision. The production of the two new pence coin involved several key steps. 1. Design and engraving. The initial design by Christopher Ironside was transferred to a master die, which was then used to create working dies for mass production. 2. Blanks preparation. Blanks, or coin planchettes, were cut from bronze sheets and heated to soften the metal. This process ensured that the blanks were ready for striking. 3. Striking, the blanks were fed into a coining press, where the obverse and reverse designs were struck simultaneously. This process imprinted the detailed images and inscriptions onto the coin. 4. Quality control, each batch of coins underwent thorough inspections to ensure they met the Royal Mint's stringent quality standards. Coins that did not meet these standards were rejected and remelted. The 1971 two new pence coin had a high mintage, reflecting its role in the widespread adoption of the decimal system. Exact mintage figures indicate that millions of these coins were produced to ensure sufficient circulation during the transition period. The introduction of the 1971 two new pence coin, along with other decimal coins, had a significant economic impact on the United Kingdom. The switch to a decimal system was a major undertaking that required extensive planning and coordination. The decimal system simplified monetary transactions by eliminating the complex conversions required under the old system. This change made it easier for businesses to price goods, for consumers to understand costs, and for the overall economy to operate more efficiently. To facilitate the transition, the British government launched a comprehensive public education campaign. This included informational materials, instructional videos and school programs designed to educate the public about the new currency. The two new pence coin, with its distinctive design and clear denomination, played a key role in this effort. Businesses had to adapt to the new system by updating pricing, cash registers and accounting methods. The introduction of new coins also required modifications to vending machines, parking meters, and other coin-operated devices. While the transition period posed challenges, the long-term benefits of a simpler and more efficient currency system outweighed the initial costs. The 1971 two new pence coin holds cultural significance as it represents a connection to a transformative period in British history. For many, it is a symbol of progress and modernity, reflecting the nation's ability to adapt and innovate. Decimalization marked a significant step towards modernizing the British economy and aligning it with international standards. The two new pence coin, as part of this change, symbolized the nation's embrace of new ideas and practices. As a coin that was widely circulated, the two new pence became a familiar part of everyday life in Britain. It facilitated countless transactions, from small purchases to larger exchanges, embedding itself in the daily experiences of the British people. For younger generations, the two new pence coin and the broader decimalization effort serve as an educational tool. Learning about this period in history helps students understand the evolution of currency systems and the importance of adaptability in economic practices. In conclusion, the 1971 UK 2 New Pence coin stands as a significant milestone in the history of British coinage. From its meticulously crafted design to its role in the decimalization process, this coin embodies a pivotal moment of change and modernization. Whether found in collections, educational displays, or remembered in the stories of those who lived through the transition, the 2 New Pence coin continues to hold a special place in British heritage. As we reflect on its legacy, we are reminded of the enduring impact of decimalization and the values of progress and unity that define the United Kingdom.